Chopin's Etude Number 10 in A flat major is for me one of the most overlooked and complex members of this set. It features a right hand part, which has two implied voices of counterpoint in broken chords with very difficult leaps, and a left hand part which mixes leaps and big arpeggios as an accompanimental figure. On the organ, I've chosen to highlight the architecture of this piece by featuring many different registrations, flutes and mutations, which allow us to hear even more clearly the dramatic modulations that were very avant-garde for their time. This piece on the organ sounds more like a demented merry-go-round than a happy A-flat major piece, and that's exactly what I intended. <laughs>